Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You guys know I like to keep it real and this video will be no exception. If you haven't already seen my video, The Narc Relationships and the Mother Wound, check that out. This is a continuation of diving deep into the mother wound. Let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the little subscribe button, the bell to receive notification when I release new video. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. I wanna mention really quickly, if you're really into these videos that you wanna dive deep into your own learning, please click on my Patreon link. It's $10 a month, you get all the work from the videos. So after each video, I'm going over there and I'm posting all the learnings along with worksheets so that you can go deeper into your own healing. So Patreon, it's right there. Let's dive in, the mother wound. I've been on this topic a lot lately because we are in a paradigm shift. We are needing to learn to mother ourselves. The world is opening up in a new world of authenticity. And if you're on board with this, you need to be the truth of who you are. And one of the truths of who you are is really owning and acknowledging that you may have a mother wound. So in my other video, the narc relationship and the mother wound, what I'm talking about in there is this constant need for validation because you could not get it from this mother. This mother was not able to validate your needs because she had so many unmet needs of her own and she has all these coping mechanisms now that don't allow you to get your needs met unless they cater to hers. Watch that video. So what happens when we're not emotionally validated in childhood, we're not mirrored, we don't get to anchor a sense of self, what happens is I don't get a self unless you validate me, unless you approve of me. That mother's approval is super important as we're developing a self, right? And so often when people come to me and they're like, Candace, I don't know how to do the inner child works. I can't trust myself to reparent myself. That makes sense. Of course you're not. And I'm gonna explain what needs to happen first. So if you're constantly looking outside of yourself for a validation that I'm good, I'm an overachiever. One of the reasons men and women become high achievers when we have a mother wound is because we're trying to not feel that guilt of actually knowing that we have this wound, of actually knowing that our mother didn't meet our needs. It was unacceptable to say that she wasn't enough. It was unacceptable to have our own needs that weren't aligned with hers. It made us feel like there was something wrong with us, that we're too needy, that we're too sensitive, that we're too much. So instead, let me just achieve, which gets her approval, instead of what we really need, by the way, is to not achieve and get her approval. That's what happens to a lot of people. They achieve, 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 get everything, but their inner wounds aren't fixed. So they come to me and they're like, I have all the riches in the world, Candace, but I'm not healed. I don't feel any better. Why is that? Because you probably have a mother wound, <clears throat> right? So this is what you have to understand. I have a lot of people that come to me, they're like, I do, 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 do. I can't just relax. Why can't I just relax? Because the anxiety comes in. You can't relax because you have to look at what's really going on and you're not allowed to. And then your sense of self will go away if you do, because God forbid there's something wrong with my mother or there's something wrong with the mothering, right? So that external validation is a source of everything for you. If I don't achieve, if I don't accomplish, if I don't make the money, if I don't have the perfect life and family and whatever, where's my sense of self outside of that? That's number one, right? Number two, that guilt. This is the hardest hurdle for anybody in my courses. If you don't acknowledge that I didn't get what I needed, I wasn't nurtured, I maybe was ignore, I maybe was emotionally neglected, I maybe was all these things, but she's also amazing, I don't care. You can have a mother that isn't black and white. She can be awesome sometimes and not awesome other times, but we have to acknowledge that there's a wound there. There's a lack of <clears throat> validation there. There's a lack of consistent approval. So we don't know. We have an uncertain identity. We may have some doubt. We definitely have low self-esteem. <clears throat> so we're looking externally because we feel this guilt if we acknowledge this truth. Don't be like your mother who's in denial of her own 
childhood, right? That happens a lot. We're not allowed to think badly of our parents, so let's just pretend it's not. But what if you got real about how you feel? What if you like, shit, this is how I feel. I didn't get what I needed. This wasn't okay. Something's wrong. What you have to understand is what's wrong is not you. <laughs> You're not what's wrong. What's wrong is the mothering you received. It was wrong. There was something unhealed about it. There was something off about it. If you can get real about it and, and work through that guilt of not doing it right according to her, that guilt of not being like her, that guilt of having needs that she couldn't meet, that guilt, guilt says I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong by being me. I'm doing something wrong by being different than what you want me to be. I'm doing something wrong by having a need you can't fulfill for me or don't want to fulfill for me. We take it on as it must be something wrong with me. No, it's not. It's an unhealed mother wound that your mother has now projected onto you because she didn't need to do her own healing. This is how we heal the tribal wounds, right? So you have to understand, the guilt is the biggest thing in your way, right? If I'm not wrong, if there was something wrong with my childhood that wasn't my fault, then step three, I can start to actually see that these relationships I'm attracting are because they're giving me that mothering attention and love and adoration that I'm missing. Whoa, this is my chance at being seen in love for who I truly am. Oh my God, this person gets me. This person is so much like me. This person is like adoring me. I get to feel a true sense of self when I'm with them. And then the manipulation and control pops in because now they got you hooked now they can control you out of your autonomy. I just gave you all this sense. Now I can't live with, remember what we said at the beginning, I can't live without your approval or validation of me, right? That's the child with the mother. So now the adult with the boyfriend or girlfriend, depends if you're a man or woman, happens to both. Now I'm with this partner, I fucking depend on them for this better sense of self. If I don't have them, I feel that depression. I feel the anxiety. I feel all the old scary emotions. Now, shit, now I'm dependent on this person. That means I have to do what they need me to do or I'm going to lose myself again. And sometimes you're like, oh my God, it's too enmeshed with, you know, if I'm in this relationship, I might lose myself. So it goes both ways, depending on if you had a meshing mother or an ignoring mother right? We might be one foot in, one foot out. So we don't always, so we don't ever have to totally commit. And then if they leave us and abandon us, we're fine because we weren't fully all in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or we totally give ourselves up and our lives up because this one's better. I'm finally getting that mirroring I need. Step three, you can finally decipher and notice this is a toxic cycle. I am attached to it. I'm going to have some withdrawal symptoms. This could be a trauma bond. Love, 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 mirror, 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 abandon, ignore, right? So this is how we heal. We have to become emotionally mature adults because we were emotionally arrested in childhood, because we didn't have anyone mirror us, emotionally validate us, and make us feel safe being our authentic selves. This isn't a blame parents video. This is, this is what happened. There's tribal wounds. People do to others what was done to them until they do the inner work. And a lot of our parents didn't do a whole lot of inner work. They did good, but sometimes maybe not good enough, right? So you get to be the one to heal this tribal wound. You get to be the one that learns to reparent. Now, this is what you have to understand. You're not going to trust yourself to be your own mother and father, to be your reparenter at the beginning, because the first thing is you have to be real about how you feel so you can heal. Why is that? Why do I obsess over this? You have to be real about how you feel so you can heal, so you can see the truth of what happened, what's going on, and that builds self-trust. The other thing you need to do every single day is going go back to the authentic self by feeling what you feel stop telling yourself you're wrong or it's embarrassing or you have guilt stop just this is what i feel whether i'm right or wrong because so many of you have issues trusting your own perception because you've been gaslit nothing's wrong you're making it up you've been gaslit trust what you feel and then take the aligned actions baby steps you know what 
Today I feel like running up that freaking hill over there. I know it's crazy, it's muddy and whatever. I'm gonna do it. Start doing what your inner prompts are telling you to do. And if you don't feel any, it means you're so buried behind what I should be instead of what I am, which is okay. Just take the should and say, oh my God, I just said should. If I didn't have a should, what would be there? It's gonna take some time. So I want you to take aligned action. I'm gonna go run up that hill. You know what, I feel like wearing pink lipstick today. You know what, I feel like wearing whatever. I feel like eating whatever. I feel like working out or not working out whatever. You have to realize a lot of your patterns are to live in alignment with what'll get you approved of. But if you're self-approved, you can do whatever the F you want and you'll still love yourself. That's building unconditional love that you didn't have, right? So aligned action steps will bring you back to your truth because you'll start to notice that doing what I feel is actually right for me. I'm healthier. I see some abundance around me. I'm noticing people are relating to me differently. I'm not just projecting onto everyone that, oh, I feel guilty or I'm not enough. I'm not doing that because now I'm, I'm stepping up for myself. And what happens when you have your own back, by the way, you start to have your own back, is your inner child's like, damn, she's finally got me or he's finally got me. He's not going to be against me to be lined up with her or him. My person's got me. My adult human is listening to my needs instead of doing to me what was done to her or him, which is not listening to my needs, but shifting them into idealized versions of what I should need to get me safe. You're only going to be safe now in adulthood when you mature emotionally and you start doing for yourself what you truly need. That's authenticity. It ain't going to look pretty or perfect, but it's going to be perfect for you. And then your life actually probably does look pretty imperfect because it makes sense. And people will vibe with you and they're like, damn, this person's on fire. This person's shiny. This person loves themselves. This person exudes freedom. I can be me around this person because this person is being who they are. That authentic thread, right? That's what I call it. Once you're being your authentic self, it enables or engenders a participation of everyone around you to want to do that too. So you're healing by being healed, right? So that's the thing. You have to do these aligned action steps to feel loved by yourself, to feel full of yourself. You're not abandoning yourself and what yourself needs. You're learning how to fulfill your own needs. And then you stop externally searching. You start now meeting people that may be toxic and you're like, Oof. I don't need to look outside of myself for that mothering. I've already got my internal nurturing going on. And when I can be enough for myself and I know how to and trust that I can take care of myself and I have a self, regardless of you, I'm no longer depending on undependable people, I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home to my own integration, my own integrity, becoming the authority author of my own life. That's called empowerment, people. Empowerment is freedom, is truth, is authenticity. I'd really love you guys to check out my emotional rehab program if you haven't already. It is diving into this for 12 weeks in a structured approach with a group of people that you can tap into if you want to forever. It is a class you do on your own virtually, but you have me every single week to check in with live. Emotional rehab is phenomenal. I'm just going to toot my own horn. I built it after I figured it all out and healed it all. So this is mastering your emotional rehabilitation from this childhood. If you want a tiny little group and you want to meet live with me every single week, check out Inner Work. We are open now. We're starting in November. Emotional rehab starts in December. Check those things out. If you want the worksheets of this video, please do Patreon. If you want a tribe to tune into every single Friday, that's the truth room. You get to be safe in your authentic truth and heal these wounds. That is the truth room. That's my monthly membership. Where there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. So check those offerings out, please. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you would, please share this with one person you think it could heal. I would appreciate it, and I adore you guys. I'll see you soon.